about an infant death syndrome or SIDS Awareness Month. This year, the American Academy of Pediatrics updated its sleep guidance for infants, emphasizing the need for babies to sleep on their backs, specifically on a flat, non-inclined surface without any kind of soft bedding. According to the Academy, approximately 3,500 infants die from sleep-related deaths in the United States each year. The updated guidelines include quite a few changes, including not using car seats, strollers, swings, and infant carriers for routine sleep. Parents are also encouraged to sleep in the same room, but not necessarily in the same bed as their baby, prefer preferably for the first six months. And experts say parents should avoid the use of products claiming to reduce the risk of SIDS or other sleep related deaths. These may provide a false sense of security and complacency for caregivers. You get a lot of false positive alarms with those. They're not necessarily all accurate. And I think if you have a device like that, it might make you a little bit lax on following the guidelines and making sure that your baby is in that safe space to sleep. Doctors say if you have any concerns about these sleep guidelines, it's important to talk with your child's pediatrician.